Is the tomb of Our Lady of Guadalupe a fake, and science proves that it was created by man? Or rather, is it a miracle left by God, leaving us yet another treasure of His true divinity and existence? Welcome back to Not a Father. Today we will be exploring 10 facts on the incredible and miraculous world of the Tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe. This sacred cloak, which bears the image of the Virgin Mary, has been the source of countless miraculous events and supernatural occurrences. Are you ready to dive into the world of the miraculous Tilma? Here are 10 incredible facts about the Our Lady of Guadalupe image. Number one, the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe should have deteriorated, faded, and turned to dust years ago. The image of Our Lady of Guadalupe appears on a tilma made of cactus fibers. The natural lifespan of the cloak made with fiber from the agave plant is only about 30 years. Despite this, the image has remained intact with all its original color and vibrancy for over 475 years. Dr. Adolfo Orozco, a physicist, said that the remarkable preservation of the cloak of Saint Juan Diego, on which Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared 478 years ago, is completely beyond any scientific explanation. Number two, Our Lady of Guadalupe's eyes reflect the figures in the room when the image appeared. Satellite imaging expert Dr. Oz Tonsman studied the image using image digitization and made a startling discovery. He saw in the corneas of the eyes of the image a series of people and objects. An Indian unfurling a tilma before a priest, another young man, a half-naked Indian with his lips open and his hands together, pieces of furniture, a ceiling arch, and other details. Number three, Our Lady of Guadalupe survived a bomb blast which obliterated everything around the image. In 1921, an anti-clerical radical detonated 29 sticks of dynamite in a pot of roses beneath the tilma. The blast destroyed a marble rail, twisted a metal crucifix, and shattered windows throughout the old basilica. But the tilma itself was untouched. Number four, Our Lady of Guadalupe has a heartbeat, and another second heartbeat for the child depicted in her womb. Carlos Fernandez del Castillo, a gynecologist examined Our Lady of Guadalupe and listened to her using a stethoscope. Placing his stethoscope below the back band at the waist of Our Lady, he heard rhythmic heartbeats at 115 beats per minute. This is the same beats per minute as that of a baby in the womb. Number five, Our Lady of Guadalupe maintains a body temperature. Dr. Philip Callahan's 1979 infrared examination discovered that the tilma maintains a constant temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, Our Lady's image maintains its own body temperature. Number six, Our Lady of Guadalupe is not of this earth. In 1936, Our Lady of Guadalupe was analyzed by a Nobel Prize winning chemist, Dr. Richard Kuhn. He analyzed the fibers and coloring of St. Juan Diego's tilma. Dr. Kuhn discovered that the color was not of vegetable, mineral, or animal origin and was not of any known earthly element. The coloring of Our Lady of Guadalupe is literally not of nature. It is supernatural. Number seven, Mary appears as different ethnicities depending on one's vantage point. This miraculous feature is meant to show the unity of the two peoples and cultures in light of the truth faith of Christ. There was intense strife between the Spaniards and the native peoples when the Virgin Mary decided to appear to a native man, Saint Juan Diego. Mary thus implored the peoples of the new world to live as one. 
Dr. Philip Callahan explains how Our Lady of Guadalupe is able to achieve the effect of varying colors at different distances. It is a trait that is seen only in nature, not in paintings. Number 8. Stars and constellations appear on the robe and mantle of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The tilma reminds us of the woman of Revelations 12, who is clothed with celestial bodies. The stars of Our Lady of Guadalupe's mantle should remind us of the crown of stars worn by Our Lady in Revelation as the Queen of Heaven. Number 9. Within eight years of Our Lady's miraculous appearance, nine million of the native people of Mexico converted to Catholicism. The crazy thing is that this almost exactly counterbalanced the number of people who fell away from the church during the Protestant Reformation. The Protestants were rebelling against the church in Europe. Ironically, the Protestant schisms were partly a response to the great respect and veneration that Catholics paid to the Virgin Mary. Number 10. The miraculous preservation of Our Lady of Guadalupe has been confirmed by NASA. Philip Callahan, a biophysicist, USDA entomologist, and NASA consultant who specializes in infrared imaging, was allowed direct access to visually inspect and photograph the image and later published his findings. He took numerous infrared photographs of the front of the tilma. His team noted that the original artwork was neither cracked nor flaked. This was considered odd, they noted, because later additions to Our Lady of Guadalupe, such as gold leaf and silver plating on the moon, showed serious signs of wear, if not complete deterioration. Thank you for joining us on this journey as we explored the miraculous world of the tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe from its survival for almost 500 years, to the vibrant and unchanged colors, to the supernatural occurrences, the tilma remains a source of mystery and fascination for people around the world. I have my thoughts on its authenticity, but what are yours? Miracle or fake? Did God leave this behind to help ignite non-believers? Or was this created by man and science can prove it? Thank you again for joining us at Not A Father, and we hope you'll join us for more interesting and informative videos in the future. God bless. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and check out the video on your screen for more of my content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Not A Father.